Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing another unboxing video. I'm excited because this is something that I've been looking for for a while now, but I just haven't found the perfect one. And so yesterday I went to South Coast Plaza with my mom and brother. We were in Dior, as you have probably seen from the thumbnail. So my mom, she was actually looking for a bag and she ended up buying the one she was looking at yesterday. But as she was doing her thing, I was walking around the store and I was looking around Around and really loved this accessory that I found and so she got her bag I got my little thing and I just want to show you guys what I got because I'm super excited to wear it and so right away this is the next day I wanted to just film it so I can show you guys and then wear it every day yeah I'm just gonna get right into it of course it's packaged in this cute little white bag the Dior bag it always looks super unique because it's plain white and it looks like leather just the texture of the bag if any of you have purchased something from Dior it always also comes with this cute little star that's really cute it's like a little charm and we have this cute little ribbon that's tying the handles together so I'm just gonna untie that and so inside we have a little box also textured looking like a leather taking off this ribbon and this is the first time I've unboxed it since I got it so this is a true unboxing I've only seen it in store when I tried it on I asked this sales girl if she could go in the back and grab a new one so I haven't tried this one on I looked at it real quick but I didn't take it out of the bag so I'm hoping that it's still perfect hopefully it is nobody's touched it so here we go here is the box unboxing taking the lid off and Oh, I think it's in here. So this is the tag. The rest of this is just tissue paper in here, but this is the cloth thingy and it's inside here. And we have the petite CD choker necklace. As you can see, it's shorter because it's supposed to be worn more as a choker, but I've been wanting one of the Dior choker necklaces for a very long time. And this one is actually new. It's one of the newer pieces that just came out. And I really like it because it's daintier than some of the other Dior necklaces, choker necklaces that are really popular that a lot of influencers and a lot of Instagrammers, they always have on the thicker, chunky one. But I feel like because I constantly have this Sweet Alhambra Van Cleef necklace, it is super thin and I feel like it would just really clash with the thick chain Dior necklace. So the fact that they now have pretty much the same design, just a thinner version of it. I really fell in love with it right away. And when I put it on, it was just perfect. This one is actually gold finished metal. It is fashion jewelry. It's not fine jewelry, so it's not pure gold. And it's actually supposed to be layered with a lot of their other necklaces. They're just known for making a lot. So there's a lot with pearls, there's crystals, there's spikes. They even have a choker one that's like a black ribbon to look a little bit more edgy, which I did try on the black choker one, but this one just looks a little bit more elegant and I feel like I could wear it daily and not just with certain outfits. I could wear it with every outfit. It can always be one with this or by itself. I don't take this one off. So this one would just be in addition to this one. But yeah, like on display in the store, it's always layered on the mannequin neck with a whole bunch of the different Dior necklaces. And it looks super cute, but obviously I'm not gonna go out and buy like five necklaces at once. So I just really wanted something to layer with this. And I wanted it to be shorter than this one too, because this is already a pretty short necklace, but I wanted something more choker like so then it sits above this one and i'll put it on too in a second but i just also am happy with this because it doesn't have a dangly charm i just like how it's connected on the sides to the chain because in general like i really love this necklace but the only thing that i always have a problem with is that it slides and that the back of the necklace like the hook it always twists to the front no matter what and because it's just a really light necklace, it always twists to the front like that because that's like the heaviest part. So that's the only thing about this sweet Alhambra necklace. The bigger size of it, it stays in place and the hook never twists to the front because it's more like this where the sides are connected, where this one slides. So I really just didn't want to deal with another necklace like that, especially if I'm going to have two of them on. I don't want to have like now two hooks facing the front. So I'm hoping this one doesn't have that problem and it just stays in place. You can see it's attached with the lobster clasp and this necklace is made in Germany. So 
very cool and it is adjustable as you can see so the length is 30 to 35 centimeters or 12 to 14 inches i'll try and put it on i'm really bad at putting necklaces on by myself but because i'm alone right now i will try and do it myself Okay, it took me a couple tries. I connected it once and I twisted it around and it was a little bit too tight. I feel like I could still maybe loosen it more, but I literally am putting it on looking at my camera right now, so I can't really see. You can kind of get an idea of what it looks like. I feel like I can adjust it again and make it a little looser, but it's just hard to do it right now without a mirror. So this is what it looks like. It's just a little bit more gold hardware to add to my collection. And I'm definitely gonna be wearing this on a daily basis. I'm just gonna take it on and off. And it's just a lobster clasp, so it's super easy. I just like how it doesn't overpower my Van Cleef necklace. Like this still makes a statement, the mother of pearl. I just like now having the Christian Dior necklace on because I've always seen people wearing the bigger ones and I just knew it wouldn't look good with this necklace so now that they have a tinier version of it I think it's just super cute to wear together and because it's fashion jewelry it's not actual gold I wouldn't want to keep it on like in the shower or anything it's definitely not to be worn 24 7 like this Van Cleef one which this one probably shouldn't really be worn all the time but I don't want to wear and tear the clasp on this one so I've always had it on since the day I got it which was like over a year ago now so now it's gonna be paired with its new Dior friend and like in the future this necklace and some of the other choker options a lot of them have matching sets so there's like matching rings or bracelets that are super cute and i feel like in the future i'll definitely want to look at more of the dior fashion jewelry because it's definitely meant to be layered like all of the rings that they have and even their earrings are super cute and i'm a huge earrings person in general i just love jewelry so this is my newest luxury piece it is gonna be part of my daily accessories and i just really love it so much i love chokers i just sometimes think that some chokers only only go with certain outfits like the black one I mentioned was super cute but it just looked a little bit like rock and roll ish and so I feel like this one still has a very elegant look but because it's a choker style it still kind of has an edginess so yeah I'm super obsessed with it it's my first fashion jewelry piece from Dior so I'm not sure how the quality holds up but I'm assuming it's really good quality because it seems like Dior is like one of the more expensive of the luxury brand so hopefully the quality reflects that I was also looking at like Fendi options or Gucci Gucci or Louis Vuitton. But it seemed like Dior just had the most options. And if I'm gonna spend a lot on a piece like this, I wanna absolutely love it. And I really did love this one. And like I said, I've had my eye on these Dior choker necklaces for a long time. So I am just so obsessed with it. Even just wearing it right now, looking at it while I'm filming, I really like it. And I know this is just like a polo shirt, but it even just looks fine wearing it with this. So I know I'm gonna love wearing it in the summertime with like cute little summer outfits. So yeah, if any of you have any Dior fashion jewelry pieces, I'd love to know your guys' reviews or opinions on them, if they've really held up over time, or if you also just got a recent piece, how are you liking it? Just leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think of mine. So hopefully in my future videos, you'll see that I'll be always wearing this. I'm just super excited to start wearing it now. You guys have no idea. Thank you guys so much for watching this unboxing. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and I will see you guys next time.